Hey, it's Alicia Joy with AdventurousNerd.com and today I have a book review for you and this is a book that is actually due back at the library today. You know I love the library so I figured since it's due back let me go ahead and do the book review so that I can show you the book when I do the book review. I like to show the books. Anyway, the book is called How to Think Like Leonardo da Vinci, Seven Steps to Genius Every Day and it's by Michael Gelb. And I do recommend this book. I do think it was excellent, and I'm going to explain to you why. <laughs> so, in the beginning, Michael Gelb first explains that he believes that we don't use our brains for um, as much as our, we're capable of. Um, that we and we don't even realize that we're capable of so much more. And this has been tested and proven, and this is not a new theory. So he um, posits to explain how we can look at Leonardo da Vinci as an inspiration for developing our brain, our mind, our, our, our creativity, our bodies, and I concur, obviously. I love Leonardo da Vinci. If you've been on the site, adventurousnerd.com, it's pretty obvious that I have a fascination with Leonardo da Vinci, and I just think the way he lived his life and always sought to live his life is, we can all get some inspiration from it, right? So, anyway. So Michael Gelb, what he does is he breaks down these principles. He says that basically there were some characteristics that da Vinci had, and he calls them da Vincian principles. And there were seven main principles, and that if we seek to um, live our lives following any of these principles, or doing any of these activities, which he mentions, which are part of these principles, then we can kind of awaken our creative genius. That's what I like to call it. So, and the book does give actual practical activities which you can, which you can do to start embodying these, these Da Vincian principles. So the seven principles that he lists in this book, I'm going to tell you what they are. And not necessarily in this order that, that I tell you isn't the order that they appear in the book, it's just the order that I remember them. So <laughs> the first principle is to have um, an insatiable appetite for learning and curiosity. The second principle is to always be testing knowledge through our experiences every day in our life. The third is to develop our senses, particularly our sight. The fourth is to get comfortable with um, like ambiguity, uncertainty, paradox. The fifth is to appreciate and have an awareness of the connection, of the interconnectedness of life. And the sixth is to develop this whole brain thinking. So it's like a balance of art and science. And the seventh, I think I'm, am I up to number seven? The seventh Da Vincian principle is to develop a poise, dexterity of our bodies, so fitness. So, and then, like I said, in the book, he actually gives examples. And one that I really liked, or several that I liked, were in the section all about our senses, how we can develop our senses so much and I actually I've started doing some of these activities daily and really they're spectacular they these exercises they do kind of sharpen your sensory perception particularly your sight I love those exercises and it's not really something I had thought about that much before <laughs> like oh let me develop my sensory perception but <laughs> when as he explains I mean these are all these are all facets of our life and and you know, I hate to say activities, but they're things in our, our brains, our, that our brains are capable of, that they're just kind of latent because we're not doing these activities on a regular basis. So that's why this book encourages us to do them and then it actually gives us these real tips that we can use to start doing these activities. So, how to think like Leonardo da Vinci, seven steps to genius every day. Who doesn't want to be more genius every day? I mean, really, who doesn't? So that's it. If you're watching this on YouTube, head over to the website, Adventurous Nerd, um, so you can get other book reviews and other tips for how to live, um, of course, more adventurously and living and learning more creatively. And leave me a comment. If you've read this book especially, or if you're going to go out and get this book, I'd love to know. Celicia Joy, thanks for watching.